Kamal Nan, you may know Kamal Nan. She's been here now. This is the third time, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Over to you. Thank you, Queen, for your courage and sharing your story. My name is Kamal Nan Travenant. I am from Thailand. I'm the co-founder of Voices Foundation for Vulnerable Children, especially orphans and stateless children. The voices of vulnerable children are too often lost due to their lack of understanding of what has happened to them, trauma, or simply because they are just too, long, too young to be able to put it into words. A heartbreaking addition to Queen's story is that she, as a nine-year-old girl, felt guilt and self-blame for her four-year-old brother to have witnessed the abuse who consequently went through series of mental health issues. And from the brief amount of time that we've gotten to know each other, as a friend, I am so proud to say that today, her brother is no longer going through those issues and Queen is no longer guilty. However, stories like Queen's or similar are still happening every day, every minute. Many not ending up so well. We work closely with infant orphans to provide them with human connection and care so that they do not grow up feeling unloved or invisible and end up acting out abusively. Both the resilience that survivors have and the aggressions that abusers have are often related to the care and human connections they were afforded or not afforded growing up. I founded my organization at the age of 14 because when I was 13, I met a blind baby girl in an orphanage crying on the floor, unable to see anyone else around her. As soon as I picked her up and held her, she was quiet and fell asleep within seconds. In that moment, I realized if just the smallest act could make that baby girl feel safe, much more could be done. I was touched and empowered by her. <laughs> Many orphans become orphans due to causes like poverty. The best thing for these children is when possible, we must find ways to keep them in their homes with their families, such as providing their families with the support needed to bridge the gap and give them hope. As for stateless children, they are especially vulnerable to human trafficking, child labor, and sexual violence because they, because they do not have any rights or protection. Though I am a proud Thai, I am not proud of the existence of child beggars on the streets who are under the control of abusers. Sadly, this is what stateless children often face. Two of them we have worked with have been through different abuses according to their gender. If the girl didn't come back with enough cash, she was raped. If the boy didn't come back with enough cash, he was electrocuted. The damage done to these children emotionally and physically has affected them ever since, and sadly, probably throughout the rest of their lives. These abuses, injustices, and deprivation should not and cannot continue to be the narrative of these children, for children are our future. So as the name of my foundation goes, I pledge to uplift the lives of vulnerable children, and when not yet possible, I will be a voice for them. Thank you. Thank you.